Hey everyone, Jay Staples, Sober Caddy, Sober Caddy Chronicles, sweeping the internet, and uh, you know what, I just, uh, early morning, already getting into it, already juiced up, uh, talked with uh, some uh, family, and you know, we were laughing, and uh, you know, the mom made the comment about that uh, my day must be, <clears throat> I must get tired sometimes of talking just about recovery or anything like that, we talk about, you know, early morning all the way to late night and all everything in between you know it's recovery and working and getting people into solutions and and all this other stuff and I said you know what when I when I decided to get in long-term recovery when I decided to get serious about it I, I put recovery first in every aspect of my life I, you know we you know she knows the words I've said it to her all too often as someone you know as a mom that loves a 22 year old heroin addict and we're working through all that stuff we're putting recovery first, and we're narrowly focused on recovery. And I said, when we do that, what else is there to talk about? And granted, we talk all the time. I mean, I do, I do uh, a big portion of my day, obviously, <clears throat> is helping solutions and uh, getting, you know, just working through a lot of stuff. And then there's my personal recovery, which is very separate from what I do. Um, anyone that in this industry that thinks it's the same thing uh, is only setting themselves up for failure. Uh, I certainly have my personal recovery and then I also have my work where it's finding solutions and, and looking from the outside in and stuff like that. But uh, the, the concepts are the same, narrowly recovery focused. I'll say it um, over and over again, put recovery first. Focus solely on recovery in any aspect of your life. It's not just when you uh, get into a fellowship room, or it's not just when you're helping someone else. It's uh, it's in my, every aspect of my life. Whether it's going through, you know, going into a, you know a coffee shop, whether it's going to lunch, whether it's uh, you know on the golf course, whether, you know, whatever it is, uh, I put those recovery principles that I learned that are outlined in, in a book. Uh, I put those, I put those aspects in every aspect of my life and I, there's no joking and there's no, uh, hidden messages and there's no double meanings or anything like that. I put spiritual principles, a design for living that truly does work outlined in long-term recovery in every aspect of my life and my life has gotten better. And I've stayed away from drugs and alcohol, but that was the easy part. I could, if if you need be, I could stay away from drugs and alcohol for normally a short amount of time, but I could stop. I never could stay stop. And you know, there's, there's a lot of people and addiction takes people in all different directions and all of our stories are somewhat the same and you know, characters and situations all change and you know but there's no doubting how powerful and cunning uh, that the addiction can be and it's taking people into whole new areas and whole new